Welcome everyone, it's Jennifer McGuire, and I have to once again apologize for my scratchy voice, but I'm still sick and I'm hoping to beat it very soon. This video shows some fun cards to make with your kids or for your kids or for pretty much anybody. It actually takes your fingerprint and turns it into fun little critters. Now there are many possibilities for this and many things you can do with them and I'm going to show you a bunch of them today in this video and also give you some tips how to get the best images from this. Okay, so first you want to start out by doing your fingerprints. So my son did these with me. He is eight and we did some playing around and we learned some things. Here you'll see that he's using his pointer finger, but I actually found out that it's better if you use your thumb. So I recommend using your thumb. Another thing that I recommend is to use a pigment ink. The reason I like the pigment ink is because it wipes off your finger very easy so it doesn't stain your hands, but also you can wipe your finger off and move on to the next color very quickly. Dye inks are a little more difficult for that. We're using a few pigment inks from Mama Elephant and a few pigment inks from Avery L, but you could use any pigment inks for this. So Colin did a few of his fingerprints and he's going to go and finish his own cards. He's actually going to make a set of note cards to give to his grandma for her to give to her friends. I'm going to make some too. I use my thumbprint here. I wanted to show you this is the stamp set that I'm using here. This is from Clearly Beside it. It's called Inprint and I think it is so clever. It makes all these different critters. All you have to do is stamp this right on top of your thumbprint or your fingerprint with black ink and you have your little critters ready to go. I think that is so much fun. Now I will tell you a few th other things that I discovered when doing this. When you press your finger down, don't press too hard or wiggle too much or it just kind of looks like a blob of ink. and You kind of lose that fingerprint look that makes it so fun. So you just want to kind of press lightly. You might want to experiment with your ink pads and see what works best for you. Now if you don't want to use your own fingerprint, you could use the fingerprint that's actually in the stamp set too. Now there are a bunch of different images in the set. I just picked some of my favorites and I went ahead and I stamped a bunch of them. You'll notice I didn't do this in the center of the paper because I really wasn't sure where I was going to go with it. And Colin was kind of stamping his finger anywhere on the paper. So it really doesn't matter. We'll trim this down later on. Now it's time to add the sentiments. I added some of the sentiments from the stamp set itself from Clearly Besotted, but then I also incorporated some from other sets. This Year Perfect is actually from the Clearly Besotted uh, in-print stamp set. Now this stamp that you're seeing here is actually from a Simon Says Stamp stamp set. I really like to incorporate sentiments from other sets together just to get more life out of the stamps I have, and I thought this sentiment worked perfect with this little cat also. Now this is another set from Simon's Stamp. This one has the message that says, it's your pig day, and I thought that worked great with the pig fingerprint. But you could definitely use the sentiments that are on the Clearly Besotted set themselves if you wanted to. Now I'm doing all the black stamping with the Hero Arts black dye ink. This is my favorite black ink. I think it's nice and crisp and super black, but you could use any black ink for this. For the little dog image, I decided to use this Rough Day stamp, which is from another Simon Says Stamp stamp set. So I'm really pulling in a bunch of stamp sets together. I'm trying to be better about reaching to old stamp sets and using those sentiments with current images, just to get more life out of my stamps. Okay, for the little bee, I decided to just draw a quick little dot for the trail, little dots for the trail, and I left a little room to stamp the sentiment. The sentiment for this one is from the Clearly Besotted set, and it just says, Be Mine. I actually think this would be a perfect Valentine for kids to give to other kids in school because they can do their little thumbprints and make the cards quickly on their own. To trim our images down, I'm going to use a circle die from the My Favorite Things Circle Stacks 1 set. This is just a circle die that is slightly bigger than our images. And I'm just going to run all of these through the die cut machine and you can see it didn't matter that I didn't center up on all these pieces because I can just go ahead and put the circle die around them very easily. Now I wanted these to pop up from my card so I have some white fun foam here. And I'm going to take a circle die that is smaller than the one we just used and run this through my die cut machine. And you'll see I end up with a white fun foam circle that will give us dimension behind our stamp circle. I thought it would be fun to use a Lawn Fawn's four bar note cards. These are three and a half by four and seven eighths. There are a bunch of different packs of different colors of polka dots and different colors of wood grain. And I thought these were perfect for these playful little cards that we're making. I also like that they're top folding and they also sell envelopes for these. It's fun to do small cards sometimes. So now I'm putting some adhesive on the back of each of our circles and adding that fun foam circle behind it to give us dimension. This will give us an even raised dimension that'll look nice even after it's gone through the mail. 
Now when you die cut the fun foam, it will flatten out some. So you'll see my circles are pretty flat here, but after it's kind of come out a few minutes later, it will kind of pop up and you will get that great dimension. And it holds up super nice in the mail. And also that fun foam is very inexpensive. But if you prefer, you could also use foam tape. I plan to give these cards to my kids throughout the year and to some of their friends, but I think it'd be a great design for quick Valentine, Valentine Day cards for kids to give to their friends. Now I did decide I wanted to add some Google AIs to this. I'm going to use my favorite strong adhesive, which is the multi-medium from Ranger. Now I am trying out a new product right now. I'm trying it out for the first time. This is the fine line applicator. It comes in empty bottle with a super fine tip that's not supposed to get clogged and I have filled it with that multimedia. That's what you see here. Now I am just starting to try this out so I can't say yet much about it. I don't know much about it and I can't say yet whether or not I love it but I promise I will tell you after I've used it for a few weeks. But so far I'm impressed with it because I can put out tiny little dots of this adhesive and that cap keeps it from getting clogged. I'll talk about that in a moment. So you can see I can put tiny little dots out and then I can add my googly eyes. I will say that since this adhesive is very thick, you really got to squeeze that bottle to get it to come out. But I also think that could be a good thing because it doesn't kind of come out uncontrollably. But if you have hands that get sore easily, you might want to think about that. But I promise I will talk about this applicator in future videos. Right now, I just got to play around with it and see what I think of it. As I mentioned, you can do tiny little dots of adhesive with this applicator, but one of the best things about it is the way it closes. You can see this lid, you just clean the tip off, and then you put that pin that's in the cap right into the nozzle, and this is to keep it from getting clogged. So I haven't had any problems with it yet, but again, I just got it. I decided to finish off a few of these critters with little bows and so I stamped tiny little bows and cut out from this Simon Says Stamp stamp set that you see here. Now I'm adding these with glossy accents. So this bottle actually has glossy accents in it. This comes out very easily um, and I'm again testing this one to see what I think of it but so far I think I like it. And I cannot get over how cute these little critters come out. Now if you are good at drawing, you could by all means just draw these little critters on your own f uh, fingerprints. But I'm not good at doing it. And it was really fun and quick for me to do with my son using the stamp set. Now if you are interested in the products that I used here, they're all linked below in my YouTube description. If you have any questions or you want to see more, please head over to my blog at jennifermcguireinc.com. I appreciate you stopping by and I hope you are all having a great new year and we'll see you again soon.